everybody, and welcome to Committed Gaming. I am Blahoot5311. And I'm Soul Slayer. And we are here with our weekly installment of Let's Talk. This is Let's Talk number five, and we've got a, we've got a bunch to, uh, to talk about this week. Yeah, we actually have a sizable list, because there's just there's a lot going on in the gaming community. A lot going on, a lot of things coming up, a lot of things being released and teased, and a lot of updates coming out for things. So um, we'll just go ahead and uh, kick this thing off. Uh, with the Bungie update that just got kicked out. Yeah, the Bungie update that uh, I have I have a little bit of an issue with all of this is because they gave us they gave us a nice sizable update saying hey these are all the things we're fixing and then every update since has just been we're gonna tease you a little bit more about these specific things that we talked about in that previous update. Well, so this is going to be the third, this is the third update about the update. Actually, it's the fourth update about the update, about 1.1.2. 1. 1. Um, and they talk about how there's going to be another one where they just address Crucible. It sounds like they're fixing a lot with this 1.1.2. 1. 1. So let's kind of dive into the, this, this third installment of their uh, overview. Basically, we're getting three <laughs> or four updates of patch notes. Um, yeah. This one they talked about. Um, it's all about um, bosses. Yeah, uh, they're talking about the raid bosses and the strike bosses. So. Raid bosses and strike bosses. Now they didn't give a whole lot of details about the raid bosses. They just kind of basically they briefly mentioned that they're uh, working on a bunch of the fixes of the worst fixes that are worst bugs that are out there. Um, the only thing they've really keyed into was damaging the Praetorians with the relic and now basically that the Praetorians were too tall. <laughs> yeah, they were. We kept, uh, Apparently the coding says we were punching past them because they're just too tall. But, uh, but, I mean, they, but they talked about how it's, you know, it's hard to find all these bugs because they can't figure out what they are and like this happened to be that the game thought the thing was too tall and so it didn't re register correctly. So I mean, it has to be a pain for those guys. Um, but before, but before, let's let's take one step back here before we dive into that. Uh, the the top, the very first paragraph of this of this update gives us a lot of cool stuff. Um, I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna read it here straight for straight verbatim. Next expansion for Destiny is something we're really looking forward to talk. We're looking forward to talking about. This month there will come a day when we'll reveal a release date for the trials that await you with a whole reef of details soon to follow, but it is not this day. So within that one small snippet, they tease out Trials of Osiris and House of Wolves, and they're telling us that they're gonna give us a date sometime this month. Uh, the Trials of Osiris, that's something that some people thought maybe wasn't even coming, that it was just kind of, eh, maybe, to like comment, but I, I'm hoping that that actually does come out. I'm pretty excited about that. Yeah, I was always re I was really excited when I first saw that they were talking about Trials of Osiris and they talked about like what it was and all this stuff, and then when they people started to notice that hey, if you go to the uh, the multiplayer options, you actually see the Trials of Osiris symbol in the center of the multiplayer yep. options. So I thought yep. that was cool. So I was I was hoping that we were going to be getting it a while ago, but well, there there has been some data mining of of the guns and stuff on on the reddits if you want to jump out there and look at them uh, i don't know if we're going to dive too much into crazy speculation on this channel we might at some point you know all some of the all the new um queen's wrath stuff that's been leaked um but i don't know i don't think that's quite what we want to do but it is out there it's on the reddits um it's pretty neat to go check out if you want some spoilers yeah but you uh, love the queen so i can see you doing I something do. like that I, I do love me some queen stuff um i rep her ship all the time Oh, and yeah. I always wear my cloak, even though it brings me down to thirty, like thirty-one and a fifth. Yeah. <laughs> I always wear her her, her coat. Um, all right, so let's now that we kind of stepped out that kind of the, the bigger announcement of of this update, um, we'll get back into the nitty gritty here. We talk about bosses. Uh, the second part here, they talk about strike bosses and strikes in general. Yeah, they actually start talking about how that we all know if you play the game, you know vows to arc takes forever because he's just one giant bullet sponge with a really tiny head 
So crit, crit shots are really difficult because, you know, he has these gigantic bulging shoulders. So they were actually talking about taking a third of his health away from the get-go, which will cut down the boss fight time by a lot. Well, they said, um, it, it, I'm just going to read this quickly verbatim here. Even when players complete it, complete it successfully, uh, it takes longer than almost any other strike activity at 27 minutes on normal difficulty. Uh, when it appears as the nightfall, it actually had the lowest completion rate of any strike in the game, which I would love to see that compared to Omnigol with Ark and Omnigol with... No burn because those two take forever, but that is interesting though. That that the but cutting cutting his health down by one third, um, that's huge, yeah, that is huge. But yeah, I, I do agree with the Omnigool strike, especially when you combine light switch and oh, arc burn, and painful. then you, you can't go anywhere near her, you can't. you can't leave that room except, except for like a split second to launch off a couple gallow horn rounds, and it's just. It, it, I think the last time we did that, it was just two of us, but still, it still took roughly an hour to it get was that close done. To it. And the thing is, is that that strike, the Omnigo strike, in my opinion, is so poorly designed because you can't, you can't, you never actually get a chance to feel like you're in the thick of a fight. You just sit in, sit in those two rooms, those three rooms, actually. You, you fight those whole, that whole strike through three separate rooms. You just sit there and wait till things come to you and bait them out and kill them. And that's kind of lame. It's not like I mean, it's not like the, those are cheese spots either. It's not like on on the Venus strike where you sit up on top of the roof and 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 and, and you just have that one minotaur that spawns in and everything else you're just sniping down. Right. These aren't cheese spots. This is just how that strike is laid out to sit in those rooms and wait. And that that alone, the omnibus strike alone needs some work. Yeah, and it's just if you don't play from those rooms, you won't you won't complete the strike. It's just no. you won't you won't get it done. So much damage so fast, especially when it's arc burn. If it's a regular strike, it's not so bad. But I mean, if you're but who does that? I mean, we usually I mean, for, you know, nightfall is usually when we when we stumble upon that one. And, yeah. um, and, and, and unless Bungie gives us an arc Gallahorn, that might be helpful. If you give us an arc <laughs> Gallahorn, Bungie, maybe maybe we'll maybe we'll be less complaining about that mission. An arc Gallahorn. Ooh. Right? How Shivers. awesome would that be? Take all those captains out. That'd be hilarious. Oh, that'd okay. be fantastic. So, so that was kind of that part. The next part they talk about um, quitters never win is the is the title of the next section here. And here they just talk about people, you know, sitting around idling, um, you know, causing crucible matches to be lost or um, weekly heroics to be lost and things like that. And so this is. So basically, they're saying, "Hey, you know, utilize our. They have because I've used it before. I've reported people for for inactivity, um, and uh, you just you just click onto it quick. You inspect the character. They give you a, a, a option to report them, and you can even it's even good reporting. Like if you they give a little screenshot here, and we'll probably throw that screenshot up on the screen here for the video. Oh yeah. Um, it's got helpful, friendly, highly skilled, and then it has unhelpful, unfriendly cheating." Then it has inactivity, quitting, bad connection. So you can select any of those things, and then it just reports it off. Um, and, they, and then they kind of they kind of go over their new policy for it. Um, but one of the things that they did talk about, <laughs> they mentioned like you know, don't worry if you had to set your set your controller down to go get your pizza because the pizza guy is there at the door. <laughs> yeah. that, you know, that's not what those aren't the guys they're looking for. They're looking for quote dedicated idlers. I think they're looking for those people that get reported on a regular basis for quitting or idling and all that stuff like people that at, like every other strike they do they get reported on yeah yeah because that's this debate because we, we, we've been there and you know especially in iron banner man iron banner oh god it's a struggle with 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 you know the one guy just sitting in the back he, and he'll you'll see him just run over to a corner and sit down or run over to the corner and just and hide and that's yep. it. He keeps moving his controller just enough so that he doesn't get kicked for inactivity, but he's just hiding around, and it's obnoxious. It is. All righty. Well, so that pretty much wraps up the Bungie update for the week. They do talk a little bit about um, the next one. It's going to be the, the Crucible section because they did mention that um, in the first Bungie update where they introduced 1.1.2. 
Um, they're going to tweak Crucible and how um, ammo gets placed around the, the map. So that'll be interesting to see where how they're going to address Crucible. But as for that, so that's the Bungie update. We uh, The Xbox One will be getting an update here pretty soon in April. Uh, they're going to improve, make improvements to the party chat. And you can now send voice messages, you know, like back when we had 360s, like, you know, the five ret- years ago. Yeah, they're bringing in the, uh, <laughs> the, the retro patch. The retro patch. Maybe they're finally going to fix game chat. So it's, it, so that's going to be good. They talked about how people, people with different NAT types weren't able, was able to connect. And uh, if they do get on a bad NAT connection, that they will send them straight to um, like a dedicated server type deal. So that they yeah, can have a good be, connection. Yeah, which would be fantastic if they actually do that kind of stuff because it's just the party chat is just terrible. It's like, it's it's very buggy, uh, to say the least. Yes, um, but one thing that PS4 they got an update, and <laughs> I would love to see some of the things that they got on their update. One of the biggest things that they got they got they got the ability to map buttons on the controller. And that would be fantastic. I would love to see that come over to Xbox. Straight up jealousy. Right? Uh, I mean, A, just because everybody has different play styles and they, they're comfortable playing different things as a personal level, but on a, on a, on a broader spectrum, we, you know, Bungie, they, they had their compatibility up or accessibility update for colorblind people. I mean, this is another thing for people who have, you know, may not have full use of all their fingers or their hands, they, or they may, because they've got certain restrictions with their hands, they can't play a certain way. I mean, for those people, for accessibility reasons, that would be huge. Yeah, let's say you're, like, missing one of your fingers or something, and you, and you have to hold the controller awkwardly, but you'd like to be able to use it to the you know, best of your ability. Right. Like, I feel that would be a great help for those types of gamers. Yep, yep. I would love to see that happen um, for for Xbox. Dear Xbox, if you're listening, <laughs> that's what we want. Um, I tweeted to you. I'm sure you saw it. <laughs> <laughs> um, one thing I wanted to briefly touch on before we stray away. I know we just did that. Uh, we got away from Bungie. I'll just take a quick step back. Um, two things, two more things about the Bungie, about the Bungies. Um, they had their April Fool's joke. Which was pretty fun. That was pretty entertaining. <laughs> that um, was very we, we, cool. had a, we had a quick little video up about that, just kind of showing it off. Yeah, basically, you you'd sign into your character on on Bungie.net, and um, if you'd sit there, if you go to inspect your character, like you know, to, to move gear around and whatnot, if you let it sit for just a couple seconds, um, you get like all these kind of crazy techno colors going on, and your your character would just start doing all these crazy dances. It was pretty pretty fun. Yeah, it was it was really entertaining, and actually, uh, I watched somebody else's video, and they they pointed out that uh, his hunter was doing the Carlton. Yes, and I yes. thought that was hilarious <laughs> because after he said it, it's like, oh my god, he is he is doing the Carlton. Yeah, no, it was great. <laughs> um, so so that was good fun. We appreciate that, Bungie. One thing I wanted to, to point out, and I'm still, and we kind of I talked about this. You know, I've talked about this. Um, I'm a big numbers guy, and I, as a big numbers guy, I know that you can skew numbers to to show whatever you want. Um, right. You can skew data. And so I saw this tweet out not too long ago, and I'm going to just kind of quickly go over it. Um, it said only 31.1% of Guardians have equipped a piece of exotic gear. 23.8% of Guardians have worn legendary or exotic armor in every slot. 24.2% of Guardians have earned Max Vanguard marks in a week, and only 16 have earned Max Crucible marks in a week. 23.1% Guardians have reached rank 3 with the Vanguard. 19.2% of Guardians have completed a raid. And 16.9% of Guardians have maxed out a Warlock or Hunter subclasses, and just 15.2% have maxed out their Titan subclass. So there's that number. Now, I, I saw that number tweeted out a lot the other day, and I, I could not, I tried to dial back in to see who it originally came from, and so I don't know where those numbers came from, but they were thrown around an absolute ton the other, a couple weeks ago. And then this came out, you know, with Bungie's update last week, um, when they were talking about the vault space, um, they, you know, they said, you know, very few people have completely full vaults, but a lot of end game players are bumping against the limits. For example, 21% of players who are level 30 plus have four or fewer spaces in their weapon vaults right now. Um, so that kind of 
dovetails into the numbers, the other numbers over here, kind of talking about in-game users. And so that just makes me really wonder, who, who are they talking about when they get these numbers? When they're saying, you know, 31.1% of Guardians have a piece of exotic gear, who's the 31.1%? Are they talking about 31.1% of everybody who's ever signed in and played the game and got rid of it two days later? Or are they talking about, you know, players who put in X number of hours a week? Are they talking about players who kind of play once a week? I would love to see, I would love to see those percentages quantified a little bit more, because um, I surely can't believe that I am, you know, we are in that much of a minority and not realizing that we've been grinding this game and we love this game and that's kind of why we're doing what we're doing right now. But man, I cannot believe we are, you know, that in-game user. Yeah, we are like the. That ten percent of all gamers playing Destiny, it's like I can't believe that. Yeah, I I don't know, like because we bump into people constantly, even if we do like, if we get a, a team together to do a raid or something like that. It's like, granted, we do get some people who are new to this, but then a lot of the people we're bumping into are just they're end game users, and then we talk to some of our friends who have actually just put Destiny down for a while until the DLC because they just. They've done everything possible, to do. yeah. and we it's just all, we, we know all the exotics, and we're done. Right, and it's just we know a lot of people that are like that. So I just I feel like I, I feel like there's more than that out there of people who actually quote unquote play the game. Like I'm I'm thinking yes, like what you said. I'm thinking they're kind of pulling it from the overall pool, where people have put the game in, downloaded it played a little bit of it, hated it, brought it back to Best Buy. Right, right. So anyway, I just wanted to kind of, that irks me. Like I said, as a numbers guy, I know that you could skew data any way you want it. And I'm just really curious. I would really like to see the actual hard numbers on some of those things and, and see um, the play with um, the play with all the different ways you can interpret data and see what, 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 um, what else is out there. But anyway, that. That is, that is neither here nor there. I was just something I thought was interesting. Um, and I, I would love to know more on. More on. <laughs> Hashtag more on. More on. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so so we just talked about how our raid team, we're getting a little bored. Yeah. Getting a little bored. <laughs> I mean, I get online now, and I don't see everybody playing Destiny. I see people playing Borderlands, people, people out killing um, zombies on Dead Rising. I see people on... Um, you're on Dragon Age and Battlefield, and I'm, I'm getting a little worried that the band's not going to get back together once House of Wolves comes around. I mean, I don't know if we need to have an intervention or, or <laughs> what, but I'm a little worried that once. I mean, I, I'm not that worried. I think once House of Wolves drops, we'll be all right back in it, getting on that grind again. Um, but it's, you know, what are we doing now? I, I think I'm kind of the only one because I don't really I didn't buy anything else. I don't know why. I just I just have it. <laughs> so I think I'm the only one going, hey guys, I'm still Destiny. Come raid with me. Yeah, no, I I'm seeing I'm seeing all of those games. I'm seeing Diablo. I'm seeing friends just going to Netflix now because they're Evolve. just bored. Evolve. Yeah. yeah, I'm seeing that. It's just it's it's crazy. It's it's what flight. happens. We're gonna go see other people. We we can see other people. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> 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 Nothing serious. Yeah, you know, just just, just vicariously. Coffee. Just having a cup of coffee with some other people. You know, it's okay. We're seeing other friends now. <laughs> but but no, I think the the main group of friends will get back and play Destiny once the DLC comes in because I think a lot of the games that people are playing right now, like all of our raid team, are playing filler games. I don't think I they're so. any of the any of the long lasting games like Destiny is. I feel like a lot of these are just filler games that they're just trying to fill the void that these kind of games are leaving us in between DLCs. Yep, I think so. I'm I'm hoping that's when it's gonna happen. Um so speaking of other things um, we've been we've been talking about Halo. You've been talking about Halo, and <laughs> man, I tell you what, I, I didn't play Halo, so I don't know. What, again, I don't know any of the backstory. Um, but these little audio logs, a they've been done very very well. I mean, you could 
the the conversations that this journalist is having you know the the emotion that that that, that that's in there and the, and the background sounds like you know these these people really are you know calling you know this really is a phone call conversation going on where he's you know because you hear like birds and like kids and stuff in the background of some of these phone calls and it's they've been they've been done very well yeah and i that's the thing it's like when it comes to halo halo has its own tv show like it actually does it has it does <laughs> Oh, I can't remember what it's called, but it ha- it has its full TV show on the Halo channel. There is actually a Halo I'm channel, sure. and uh, there's just so much money in Halo. Like that, it, it's just it's so overwhelming with all the stuff that they branch out and do with Halo, and that that's the thing. I, I'm I'm not surprised by how how well done these audio logs are because of just all the stuff they've put out. And yeah, the audio logs. Oh my god, I am insanely excited. But um, they haven't really gone over anything new per se. They've just kind of confirmed more of this, uh, more of the same, because it's like we we knew some of this stuff. Like we knew the. If you go back and watch the most. Some recent... of you knew. I didn't know. Maybe this. Maybe these things are for people like me who have no idea what's coming at coming at me. True. Okay, that that is a very valid point. It could be for, for non Halo junkies, um, but I, I am classified. I mean, when was the as last the Halo, Halo game? When was the last Halo game? Uh, that was Halo Four, uh, and that that's been a while. That was, uh, yeah, actually, that's been a while. Uh, and then the so most recent one was actually the uh, Master Chief Collection. So you got to think how many new Halo pe- people there are new to this franchise who've never known about it. I mean, I knew about it. I just didn't play. I didn't have an Xbox. I didn't have any friends. No, none of my friends had an Xbox. Uh, I would. I randomly stumbled upon some some guys playing it um, through friends of friends, and I played it. And I I don't know. It was okay, but um, I did, all my friends have PlayStation, so that's kind of what I went over there and hung out with them and played. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, but uh, for like I can see that they're they're bringing this kind of stuff in for the the like I said non Halo junkies, uh, the people who are new to the Halo series, the Halo franchise. Uh, but for the the dedicated Halo nuts like myself, uh, we've kind we kind of know this stuff. So uh, with this this kind of stuff that they're putting out there. They can't have just the same old info, so I, I'm waiting for the first like big bombshell that they're gonna drop. Which I think I feel like that's what they've been they weeded into with the last two that we've heard. When's so, the next one supposed to drop? Uh, I think they're gonna continue doing them every week, so I'm pretty sure it's gonna be coming out this Sunday. Okay, so uh, I assume you'll have a video up on that as soon as that bad boy hits. Oh, definitely. Cool. So other uh, speak, uh, and some other games we've kind of talked about. You and I have talked about getting into um, Elder Scrolls Online. That's going to be coming to Xbox here um, in June. That looks yep. pretty slick. I, I've never again. I, so that's another series that I'm completely ignorant of. I've never played, um, but uh, I watched the, like the 20 minutes of trailer, the 20 minute trailer video that you sent me, and that was pretty darn epic looking. So I think I I think I might I could be talked into that one. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I've been trying to talk you into that one because uh, I played Skyrim, <laughs> and I was I'm very fond of Skyrim. I love the whole game mechanics and the leveling system and everything. But I've been watching some people stream uh, because the computer version came out three months before Xbox uh, the console uh, version is meant to come out, and uh, I've been watching some people, and it's very in depth, and it's. It's very complex, and I'm actually kind of excited for it because there's just it's. I love learning new stuff. I love figuring out how things work, and I'm kind of excited to to delve into that one. Yeah, I think it'll be cool. Um, speaking of games that have crazy mechanics, and I've been, you know, we're on Xbox One, so I've been watching uh, Tefty Tef from Planet Destiny. Um, he's been um, doing let's plays on his YouTube channel for. Um, Bloodborne, and that, again, that's another series that I know nothing about. I never played um, any of those games. Um, I'm spacing what they're called right now, uh, Dark Souls. But man, that game looks intense, and the the way it's it's beautiful game. And I, I, I I'm not gonna go buy a Halo or a PlayStation, but if I if I was on a PlayStation, I would definitely be on that grind. Yeah, but the th- the thing is, I don't think it's actually part of the Dark Souls series. I think it's, it's just not. yeah, it's, but it's it's created it's kind of, by them. Yes, and it's 
Um, again, so I don't know anything about it, but they, they, they've been talking about how, you know, it's just, you know, apparently the, the, those games are some of the hardest games out there. At, you know, like Dark Souls and whatnot, they were pretty hard games that this game kind of follows along with it, that these, these are not easy games. Yeah, my cousin actually played Dark Souls 1 and 2, and he, he loves them. But I I always view him as a little bit of a masochist when it comes to video games. <laughs> like he he likes being punished in those games because if you if you you have to find these what is it these fireplaces and these are the only places that you can save or anything. Mm-hmm. And then if you if you die while out there, you you drop a like a, a spirit where you died, and to get your experience and all that kind of stuff back, you have to go get it. <laughs> I dropped my soul over here. Can you find my soul? All right. Yeah, does anybody funny. see it? All right. Well, I mean, the only other thing I don't really, I'm not going to talk too much about it, but I did see that you know the the new Rainbow Six Siege is coming out. That looks okay, um, but. Other than that, not too much. I think we pretty much covered everything we wanted to talk about. Yeah, uh, Rainbow Six Siege had a bit of a... Uh, they did a live stream thing where they had uh, the creators of the game do some matches so you get to see. And it was all alpha builds, so you saw like things tweaking out and such. Yeah. Uh, but I, I'm worried about that game being uh, probably like a one-trick pony kind of thing where it's like mm-hmm. you have to get your team together to enjoy it. Because it's like if you're playing with randoms, you're not going to have the strategy that you need to win. And it's only this one thing. It's only kill the other team by either invading or defending. And it's like that that's all there yeah. is. So I'm worried it's going to be just one of those one of those games. Yep. Yep. Well, all right. I think we've clo- covered everything we wanted to talk about today. Um, if you have any thoughts or any, any, any comments, just leave them down in the comment down section below. Um, I think we're going to be doing some streaming this weekend, so feel free to come by, hang out with us, be active in the chat. We're also up on Twitter at twitter.com slash committed gaming. Uh, feel free to give us a follow there and interact with us. We're, uh, we're on there quite a bit. So, yeah, come hang out and check us out. Yeah, and uh, guys, I will be putting up a, uh, a schedule on Twitch uh, for my streaming basis. I have a list of my things that I have to get done this week and then time that I can play. So I'm going to go over this real quick uh, real quick, and then I'm going to post it up on there so you guys will actually see when I will be live. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, you're able to stream more than I am and your internet is better than mine. Than mine. <laughs> but uh, hopefully I'll be able to stream a little bit more. I mean, when I stream, I don't have a, a face cam at this moment. But um, we'll get there. We'll get there. We're building. We're building. Oh, yeah. Alrighty. Well, thanks everybody for coming by. I'm Flute5311. And I'm Soul Slayer. And all you gamers out there, stay committed.